having started my journey across Central Asia by spending a week in the formal capital city of Kazakhstan, Almaty, I booked a flight and traveled to Kiziloda, a provincial town in Central Kazakhstan. My plan was to travel northwest to the Aral Sea, famously known as the Sea That Disappeared. However, I unfortunately ended up getting sick for a few days, so I changed my plans last minute and booked a train ticket back east towards Shimken and the Uzbek border. Trains are my favorite mode of transport, giving me the opportunity to have personal interaction with locals. Join me as I take an 8-hour train journey alone across the arid Kazakh landscape. I just I just want to document this moment because the 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 kids swam please and asked every question. Anyway, so yeah, um, basically I was curious what they're doing, but at the same time they're very curious as to why I'm here um, as a tourist where I'm from. So this train journey will take me eight hours slightly to the southeast of Kazakhstan before actually crossing the border in a couple of days into Uzbekistan. I'm excited because this will be my very first train journey in Central Asia. We've got people here, passengers getting onto a train, freestyle crossing, hey? That reminds me of how I used to grow up nearby a train track. Kiziloda locomotive. So cool. So I think I've got number 11. I'm just admiring this, honestly. Can you see it says Kazakhstan? And that's the train number, I suppose. That's first chair. It's a ticket. So I've got 30 minutes until the train actually departs, I think. This is the very end for people who would like to stock up it's potential to buy stuff here i don't know if they accept card unfortunately i need to buy perhaps water let's get some banana and apple and then two uh -huh. i think i should get an instant pot noodles that's a life savior in a train journey like this I don't know if I can trust this, but why not? It's a moi, da? It's a moi, da? Voda? It's a moi, da? It's a moi, da? So if you don't know language of Kazakh and Kyrgyz, I think, uh, Turkic base, and the town of Kizilorda has 95% of Kazakh people living here, whereas in Almaty everything is Russian uh, spoken. And uh, yeah, it's interesting to hear the, the differences. <laughs> Uh, in from Go Gorod, uh -huh. uh, Jakarta, uh -huh. uh, but I live in Angla, okay. England. I live in England with my uh, husband. Yes. <laughs> students, are you Name? Any students? Tourists, yes, no student. <laughs> Just tourists. Basically, this is my room, and you've got two upper bed and two lower bed. 
I paid 6,000 tenge, which is about 12 or 13 dollars for eight hours journey. And I've also got a towel, some sheet for you to put on. This is the toilet, just basically toilet with tap water. So it turns out there is a very small compartment that is reserved for a buffet. When they say buffet, I was thinking of lots of options to choose from, but I think it's either soft drink or just like some random noodles, pot noodles. So you've got different selections of soft drinks from Cola, Sprite and Fanta, water, several beers. This is the guy who's um, managing this section of the buffet, I think. Zantos. Zantos. <laughs> He's a bit shy. Um, it's possible. <laughs> Angler. Manchester. The tea. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Adriana Cocktail Ali Khan Ali Khan Ali Khan Zar Santos Santos Ah Oh Jandos Ah yes 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 He wrote me how to pronounce his name and the other guy's name So cute um, I think um, Ali Khan likes me Ask me about husband and I said, yeah, I've got, I've got my husband. Show him this photo. This is always working when um, anyone asks about, you know, husband, boyfriend. Uh, but yeah, it's very good. I think it just... I really need this kind of interactions to make me feel less lonely and isolated. I was given... Huh? It's cook. Good. There is something I love about taking long train journeys. It allows me to appreciate the slower pace of travel while observing the different terrains of the countries I visit. Travelling this way not only provides me with more opportunities for inward reflection but also gives me a chance to connect with locals. So, Zandosh will take me to class card, black cards, the third class. Indonesia. Kazakhstan. Paruski. Paruski. Chu 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 da chu chu. Small, small, very little. Okay, so he needs to. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. 
slightly moving, so I think we are departing. Thanks to Zandosh that he is bringing me over, because otherwise I don't have the courage to do this. So this is placards. You've got extra space here. Oh, this is so much brighter. This is another third class. So cool. I think I should not. This is like so modern. We are using online translator to communicate. Obviously, thankfully there is an internet currently, and Zandosh is also a translator. English, da da da, eta English. Uh huh, English. Purpose of visit. Ah, tourists. Ah, tourists. Da, tourists. I like traveling alone. Ah, <laughs> Um, age, age, thirty-one. Ah, oh, sixty-one. Oh, that's like double of my age. Da. Kim работает? Eighteen. Где работает мама? Где? So thanks to Jean Tos <laughs> for his company because obviously without him it would be so lonely. He told me that he's 18 years old. I feel like a big sister, but currently he's going back to his buffet job. <laughs> so cute. I think currently we are stopping over picking up lots of passengers. We have just arrived in Turkestan. This is one of tourist um, destinations actually, but I'm not stopping here. I still have got some distance to go, but it is great that we are able to go out to get some fresh air because I think in bigger city, generally the break will be longer. So it's nice to see that the platform is much bigger. <laughs> It's incredible to see students potentially. I think for me personally, eight hours journey to Shimken um, doesn't feel the longest because I've, I think I've taken longer sleeper train than this. Um, obviously this train actually dip, uh, heading towards or its final destination is actually Almaty because my here in the cabin actually he's heading to Almaty and potentially that's the last destination uh, yeah it's it's just lovely sometimes I can't deny the fact that I feel a bit 
isolated due to the language barrier and it takes a bit of miracle or something special to happen sometimes. It's 7 p.m. right now and the sun has just set, I think. Это германский производство. Вау. Уже 40 лет, наверное. Вау. Это украинский. Wow, that's a, from Ukraine. Oh, that's so cool. That's from Ukraine and that's from German. I was just taking a photo of these and she obviously has got the knowledge, the lady in my carriage. <laughs> she got me. She got me and my train. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> okay. Спасибо. Спасибо вам. So this is my bed for the night, but I have got only three hours to go. Right here you've got a socket so you can charge your phone, a nice light switch on the other side as well. This is actually a stair if you are sleeping on the upper bed and right now the sun has set obviously it's a beautiful beautiful evening so I am going to get some hot water for my noodles Oh, so many people. Oh my god. Спасибо. Wow, these are passengers that have been waiting for this train from Shimken City. That's like a swamp of people. afternoon from Shimken, supposedly a town historically influenced by the Silk Road but to me this feels a bit more like a city but I am here only for another night before crossing the border into Uzbekistan. Interestingly Shimken is located in the southern part of Kazakhstan and for those of you who are traveling to Central Asia for the purpose of retracing the Silk Road history, uh, Kazakhstan is often overlooked and skipped over because they think there is nothing interesting. I would personally would go to the Kazakh step but I haven't been able to have the resources and time and especially due to my sickness. But the southern part of Kazakhstan, like Shimken, Taras, 
Turkestan and many other cities, I think, are well known for its Silk Road history. Van Rout Chimken dates back to the 12th century and was more than once hit by nomad attacks. It's interesting because technically they are closer to the Uzbek um, probably culture, all the southern part of Kazakhstan is than the probably nomadic Kazakh culture that what we are used to seeing on TV but also the facial structure so far the people that I've seen here look slightly different to what I've been seeing in either Almaty or even in Kizilord. Thank you so much for watching today's episode I hope that you enjoyed taking the journey with me on the eight hours train towards Shimken and get a glimpse into this particular city, the third biggest city in Kazakhstan, as well as the city that was historically part of the Silk Road route. And I have a Kazakhstan flag pole behind me. Interesting. <laughs> I always love either flag or maps. Yeah fascinating so let me know what you think down in the comment section below uh, let me know again what would you like to see more on this channel i would love to read all of your comments see you again next time bye